all the way to our backs. If you're still sitting upright, we'll start to engage that power center. So reach the arms long and slowly start to roll down the mat. Starting to engage the core. Find yourself all the way on your back. We'll settle in here, allowing the hands to rest on the belly. Check in with the breath. Noticing where the mind is this morning or this afternoon. Whatever you're choosing to practice, notice how that point in your day feels. Maybe how that feels in comparison to the last few days. So a lot of people that I've spoken to said that they also feel like I do, which is that we're on a roller coaster and some days are better than others. So that's what our meditation points will speak to at the end of class. Usually, it's worrying about something in the future, and so we're going to try to stay really in the core of the moment, which is right now, just in this little small sliver of time. So walk the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall wide. Rest the hands on the belly. Take three or four full rounds of breath here. Noticing the quality of the breath this morning. Is it shallow? Is it deep? Does it feel slow and luxurious or maybe it's feeling a little hurried? I tend to notice that my breath feels choppy, not, not super smooth often. So noticing those things and not attaching anything to the answer that you come up with. Pull the knees back in. Pull the knees into the chest and we'll pull the forehead up to the knees. Squeeze tight and then release. Do that two more times. Squeeze, pull in the forehead to the knees and release. Last time, pull it in tight. And release. Then show away for the knees, side to side. And then we're gonna do some knee drops just gently. So make sure you have some space on either side of your mat. So you don't knock anything over. So we're gonna pull the knees just above the hips, lift the soles of the feet. Like you're standing on that wall behind you. Zip the legs together, take the arms wide for stability if that feels good. And then we'll just drop the knees a couple of inches to the right. So truly just uh, for my, my European friends, maybe 15 centimeters, maybe more like 10, not that far. And then come back to center. And then a few inches or several centimeters to the left. So we're just going just a handful of degrees off of center. Come back to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop it to the left. So we'll keep with this movement. Try to slow it down. So try not to use momentum. We're isolating the strength of the core. The slower and more deliberate that you can do this, more benefit and stability you're gonna get in that power center of the body. Let's do two more rounds to each side. Maybe you feel like you could go a little bit deeper. And then we'll go to the right again and hold. Option to extend the legs. It's going to pick up the intensity just a little. 
using the hands to ground you, pull back to center. Come back in, other side. I can't really kick out on this side without kicking this table, but find your core, hold two more rounds of breath. Awesome, come back to center. Hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side. We'll take the soles of the feet as wide as the mat, maybe a little wider. Let the knees fall in, give the low back a little bit of love. Let's take a cleansing breath together, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Walk soles of the feet back in. We'll do one more thing here before we round up. So here's where if you have a block, which I'm guessing most of you don't, but if you have just a, a paperback novel, um, or really anything small and lightweight. If not, just pretend it's there. So we're gonna reach our item or just our hands overhead. And then we're gonna lift the legs. Transfer it to the legs or pretend to transfer it. Drop the legs back down. Reach up, grab for it, take it overhead. So we're just passing it back and forth between the hands and the legs. Slow, strong, stable. Do three more full rounds. So as slow and as stable as you can make this. Try not to touch the feet all the way down. Use your breath to flow. That's that prana it comes from our core, our center of power. So finding that breath and flow in and out through the nose. Last time, I might have lost count, so if you're done, be done. And then bring it back in. We'll hug the knees into the chest. Starting to get a little bit of burn there, which isn't a bad thing, right? Rock a little side to side. Awesome. We'll bring some movement into the hips before we roll up. So reach for the knees and just circle the knees on the ceiling. And switch. Find the breath flowing in and out through the nose. Like you could fog up a mirror right underneath the nostrils. Drop soles of the feet to the mat. Again, walk the feet as wide as the mat or wider. Let the knees fall in to the center. So we want to be gentle with our low back, especially if we're not used to working too much in the core. We want to make sure we give our chance, our back a little chance to release. Come back in, reach for the back to the legs, start to crook up and down. So we're going to find a little bit of movement here. Option to skip the rocks and just come to seated. But if you want to find that point of balance, find our boat pose. Take a few more rounds. Engage the core, engage the legs. Awesome, we'll come to seated. So if you have your blanket or your towel and you want to sit on it, for me that just feels a little more comfortable. So start to rock a little side to side, find that center point in the body. And then we'll make some movements with the torso. So we're going to strengthen and stabilize the core, but we also need to keep those muscles flexible. So start to circle the ribs over the hips. Nice and slow. Maybe you make these a little bit bigger than normal. And come back through. So going the other way if you haven't already.
and come back to neutral. We'll work all six movements of the spine. Find a little twist, so we'll do some more twisting to get into our cores, our obliques. So inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, drop it down. So I'll take the right hand down, left arm over, doesn't matter which way you start. Spin the chest open, feel some stretch across the front body. Inhale, reach to center. Lift up out of the waist and then take it over other side. So we'll do this two more times each way. So don't feel like you have to get to that deepest point. Just being gentle, inhale, reach. Exhale, take it over. Spin the chest open. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take it over. Last time each side, inhale, lift up out of the waist. Create space. Breath is flowing nice and easy. Come back to center, exhale the hands to heart. Take a moment here to find stillness and stability. Check in with maybe how the breath is flowing through the body, some heat and movement you might already be feeling in the core, in the legs. Come back to the here and now. So before we continue to move, I'm going to read you just a little bit here about this present moment, finding the power of now and letting go of things that are not right here and right now. The present moment, you hear this expression a lot these days, what exactly is the present moment? It's this place of calm and ease. It can also be a place of deadlines and to-do lists. So how can these two places be one and the same? Consider how many of your anxieties stem from events in the future. And then consider that the future is not part of the present moment. The future hasn't happened yet. You can only imagine the future. It is not real. So I know that many of us, um, especially in the States, were, were given some time, even more time at home, or really a, a month kind of tacked on. And so that seems a little insurmountable for some of us. And I think to come back to this moment and what do I have and what do I need right now today and not try to think about what's going to be the case in two weeks or a month or three months um, can be helpful to just anchor us down in what is real and actual and existing in this moment and not creating things down the line that may or may not happen and, and may or may not be true. So let's come back to our breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach. Last time. This time we'll take a twist. So I'm gonna take a left hand to right knee. You can go the other way, whatever feels better. Inhale, reach up tall, exhale, twist. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, twist, other side. So for me, that's right hand to left knee. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. We'll keep flowing with this twist. Your breath, your movement. To get one more time each side. Then come back to center, inhale, reach. Fill up the lungs. Exhale, let it go. So we've done our side to side movement of the spine and our twisting movement of the spine. So we'll do a little bit of the forward and back movement. So hands to the knees, seated cat cow. So pull the chest and the chin forward as you inhale. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. 
Keep rolling with your breath. So using that core, that center of power to propel this movement. Let's take one more full round. Awesome, come back to neutral, shake it out. We'll come over onto hands and knees. So again, if you have somewhere to pad the knees, just to give them a little bit of buffer between you and the ground, especially if you're on a hard surface like I am. Fingertips spread wide, shake the hips out. And we'll find our spinal balance movement. So we'll do this a few times and option to take it slower or option to find something else from this tabletop position. So we'll shoot the right leg back, keep it lifted, left arm lifts. Three times we'll bring elbow to knee and round nice and slow. Inhale, extend, exhale, round. Inhale, extend, exhale, round and hold. Tuck up into the body. And then we'll take it out to the side. So goal post, cactus this arm out. Squeeze the right knee out wide. Take it back. Squeeze everything out to the side. So you're squeezing the right knee towards the right elbow. Extend. Last time, squeeze and hold. Extend. Pull the right knee into the chest, round it through. Step it forward. We'll just find a little bit of movement here, nothing formal, just rocking forward and back, getting into the hip flexors, the backs of the right leg. And then we'll find our bend into our front knee, tuck the back toes, find this higher lunge. Left hand stays down, right arm lifts, find a twist. So stacking shoulder, stacking wrist. Drop the right hand down, hop the left foot up and out. Find our intense leg stretch here. So all 10 toes facing forward, or maybe the back toes are tucked out just a little. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Nice deep stretch into the legs. And then pop the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, half lift, nice flat back, long spine. Exhale, fold. We'll stay in this fold, reach for opposite elbows and sway. So there's a nice generous bend in the knees, head and neck are heavy, let everything fall. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Root down, rise up. So here, I'm gonna stay turned to the side because we're gonna do a little back bend. So plant down through the feet, lift up, and then press the hips forward. So we're pressing the hips forward, maybe gazing up at the corner of the ceiling and the wall. Exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, reach. Press the hips forward, lengthen across the abdominals. Come back to neutral, so it's just a little bit. I don't have a ton of range of motion there, so some of you may go deeper. Inhale, reach. Press the palms, push the hips forward, and then we'll exhale, flow it through. Lift up halfway, inhale. Plant the hands, we're gonna go back to the knees, and then flow forward onto our bellies. So pull the chest through, elbows graze the ribs. Hands are by the ribs three times baby cobra. So we're lengthening across the front body and that core. So peel the chest up. Use the strength of the low back, lengthening out the belly. Release. Two more times, inhale, peel it up. The shoelaces of your feet are pressing down and release. Last time, Inhale, lift and hold. Maybe you reach the arms long. Gaze is neutral. 
and release. Take everything out wide, rest. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. Press yourself back. We'll find child's before we go to the other side. Child's pose, blossom the knees wide, drop the hips to the heels, walk the fingertips out. Three cleansing breath here. So big inhale through the belly. Exhale, let it go. Maybe take one or two more cleansing breaths on your own. Slowly roll back up, find your tabletop. It may feel good to go through a few rounds of cat-cow. Drop the belly, lift the gaze, inhale. Round the spine, tuck the chin, exhale for your cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Last few rounds. And then when you feel ready, we'll take this to the other side. So ground down through the fingers. The left leg is gonna extend back. Try to keep the hip and the big toe drop down. Pull the belly button into the spine. Reach the right fingertips forward. So there's length between the right fingertips and the left toes. Three times, elbow comes to knee, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Last time, pull it in. Reach it long, and we'll take it out wide. So bend in the knee, bend in the elbow, squeeze to the side. Reach long. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, and hold. Inhale, reach it long. Right hand plants, left foot comes through, and nothing too controlled here, just find some movement, bending into the front knee and pulling it back. So just little gentle flows between those low lunge and half splits we do pretty often together. And then we'll find our twist, so bend back into the front knee, tuck the back toes, find your high lunge, so back leg is strong and straight, pull the legs into center line. Right hand comes down to the mat on the inside of the left foot. Left arm lifts, find your twist. Ringing out to the core. Drop the left hand down. Step the right foot up and out. Find your intense leg stretch. So you can play with the distance between the feet. Pull the left hip back. One more round of breath. Bend into the front knee, hop the right foot up to meet the left. Lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Stay in this fold. Option for the rag doll, reaching for opposite elbows. Option to grab for the big toes. Hook the first two fingers and the thumbs around the big toes. Lift up halfway, nice long back. Exhale, fold, take the elbows wide. Gaze is back between the legs. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, root down, rise up. We'll take it overhead, press the hips forward. Shine the chest up, come back to neutral. Two more times, optional, reach it up. Push the hips, little baby back bend, come back to neutral. Last time, 
Lengthen across the front body. And bring it back to neutral. Shake it out. We'll just start to find a few standing postures. So we're going to keep our right foot forward. Step the left foot back. Find a warrior one. So all the hips and the shoulders are squared towards the front. Back toes could be out a little, like a 45 degree angle. Deep in into the front knee. Reach the arms up. So option to stay here for five rounds of breath or option to find a little bit more stability work using the core and the legs. If you'd like to take that, reach the arms behind, option to interlace. Press the palms down, press the palms to each other, knuckles down. Lift up out of the chest first, big inhale. Exhale, start to hinge forward. Find some strength here. So the body, the upper half of the body is hovering on the inside of the left leg. Rise it back up. Option for one more. Find your humble warrior. Awesome, and then we'll all open up warrior two. So bend back into the front knee. Reach the arms long. Make sure that right knee is coming more towards the right pinky toe. Awesome, turn all 10 toes to face the long edge of the mat. Take the hands to the hips, lift up out of the waist, hinge forward halfway and hold. So nice flat back, pull the belly button into the spine. And then we'll find a twist here. So right hand comes to the center of the feet. Left hand can stay on the hip and maybe you just open the shoulder or option to reach the left arm up. Slowly come back to neutral and switch. Left hand comes to center, right hand to right hip and twist open or right arm twist. Slowly come back to neutral. Walk the hands back just a little bit. Find your flat back, pull the belly button into the spine. Hands come to hips and hold. Use the strength of the core, the legs, the back, and then slowly start to rise back up. Awesome, so we'll go the other way. So bend into the front knee, we're just gonna turn to face the other side. Hop the right foot out, find your warrior one here. So you're probably facing the back side of your mat. Bend into the front knee, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Squaring hips and shoulders to the front. Check in with the breath. Option to stay here, option to interlace. Find that humble warrior two more times. Drive the knuckles down, lift the chest long. Exhale, fold and hover. Use the core and the legs to rise up. Option for one more. Humble warrior. Rise up. We'll all meet in warrior two. So spin the back foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Bend back into the front knee deep. Reach the arms long. Gaze over the front fingertips. One more time, we'll turn to the side. So take all 10 toes to face the long edge. Maybe you're facing me, the screen. I guess me and the screen are one and the same. Inhale, lift up long. Exhale, start to hinge forward halfway and hold. Press the booty back, extend the spine long. And release. Option to stay here. Option for a deeper twist. This is really gonna get into the legs. Right hand comes towards the left ankle. Option to keep the left hand at the hip or reach long. Slowly walk it back through center, other side. Left hand comes to right ankle. If there's space, otherwise stay right where you are. Right hand can reach.
come back to neutral. We'll find a little bit of movement here. So bend into the right knee, start to kick the left toes up. So you may not get this deep snow problem. And then walk it through center, and we'll go to the other side. So we're straightening out the right leg, peeling the right toes back, bending into this left knee. So walk it back through center. We'll take two more on each side. Try to keep the core engaged as you find these transitions. Last time each side feels a little like Spider-Man like. Awesome, come back through center. Take all 10 toes to face the long edge. Reach for the hips. Rise up. Step the feet together. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. We're just gonna come back to the mat. So sit back on your bum. I'm gonna reach for a sip of beverage. We're still kind of in winter in Milwaukee, so my throat gets dry in this dry house. We're going to come first to wide legs. We're going to do a little bit more of that lengthening the front body. So push the legs far away from each other. Maybe you take the hands behind the hips and you lift the body forward and roll a little. So we'll really get into the outside part of the legs. So we a few rounds of breath here. Option to walk it forward. It's really gonna pick up the intensity. So find your breath. And then we'll work that front body opening. So I do like to have the pad here for the knee. You may wanna back up so you can keep the bent knee on the pad. So <clears throat> left sole of the foot to the right leg. Left knee is maybe padded. Left hand's gonna come back behind you and we're gonna press forward. So I call this my, my flash dance. I wasn't around for that, but it seems correct. So step onto the right foot, press the chest forward, lengthen across the front body, push the hips towards the front, and then come back. We'll do that two more times on this side. Inhale, lengthen and reach. Exhale, bring it back. Last time. Beautiful, and then we'll fold towards the extended leg. So option to catch the leg, the feet. Slowly start to rise back up. Move to the other side, so for me, that's left leg extends long. I want to pad the right knee for that front body opening. So readjust right sole of the foot to the left extended leg. Find your stability here. Inhale, lift up tall. Right hand's back behind you. Start to press the ground away. Come onto that right knee, left sole of the foot. Reach the left arm up. Bring it back down. Two more times, your own breath. So we're focusing on finding length across the front body, across the abdominals. Come back full towards that extended leg. Slowly rise back up. I'm gonna move my blanket out of the way. It can be a good option to keep it folded underneath the knees once we get to Shavasana. So find your way to the bum. We're gonna find those boat poses again that we started class with when we were doing the rock and roll. So tip back a little so that you can find where you have to start to catch with the abs and then lift the toes. So a couple of options here, reach around, grab for the back of the thighs. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. This can be your bolt pose. 
getting that strength in the core. Option to release the hands creates a little bit more effort or option to straighten the legs, a lot more effort. But for many of you, probably a piece of cake. Hold three more rounds of breath wherever you are. Last round of breath. And then take the knees wide, soles of the feet together, start to hinge forward. So we'll do that two more times through, but we'll stay here in our bound angle for a few rounds of breath. Slowly start to rise back up. So I'll give you another option for the boat. You can keep them just like they were before, or we'll do a little row of the boat. So find that boat pose where you're on that little bony part. So option to take the hands to heart and start to row your boat. So drop your hands to the right, to back to center, to the left. So we're also kind of bringing the left elbow towards the right knee. Do about five or six each way, zip the legs together, strength in the low back and the core. Last time. And find relief, so let the knees fall wide, round towards the feet. Two more rounds of breath here in our bound angle. Slowly start to rise up. So one more option or if you're done with this portion, then we'll meet you on the back. So pull the knees into the chest. We'll find our boats and we'll go through boats and canoes. So boat pose, canoe would be dropping down to the mat, except the heels and the shoulders and then coming back up to your boat. So we'll do four more of those. <sighs> My favorite. <sighs> if you don't know me, that's sarcasm. <sighs> Last one and then find your bound angle full forward. And we'll bring the knees together and start to rock back onto our backs. Pull the knees into the chest and rock side to side. Find that little squeeze, pull the forehead up to the knees. And release, drop soles of the feet to the earth. We'll find our bridge pose here. So walk the feet and the heels in close. Fingertips come towards the heels and then press the hips up, lifting one vertebra at a time off the mat. Try to keep the hips and the knees in line. Press the abs long. Option to walk the shoulders underneath if there's space. Should feel good after all that work in the abdominals and the core. Maybe press the hips a little higher. And slowly release, start to pull the shoulders out. Windshield wipe for the knees. Take a few rounds of breath. If there's anything else that you would like, I'll walk us through a twist. Pull the right knee into the chest. Roll out the foot and the ankle, and then we'll take this right knee across the body. So find your twist. Maybe you gaze out over the right arm. Inhale back to center and switch. 
Left knee pulls in and roll out the ankle. And then pull the left knee across the body, reach long. Inhale back to center. Pull both knees into the chest one last time. Squeeze the forehead into the knees. And then release. Find your final resting pose, your Shavasana. So let the toes fall out. Allow the hands to fall open. Close the eyes. Check in with the breath. Release that space between the eyebrows. Release any hold on the breath. Check in. Any lightness or openness that you're feeling in the body. For the next few minutes, stay present right here in this space. Allowing the focus to blur. And just allowing the ground to hold you up. Take rest. Breathing to bring awareness back to the breath. Finding a deeper inhale, a deeper exhale. Starting to rub the thumbs across the tips of the fingers. And this gentle movement in to this moment. Option two, stay on your backs. For this last little bit of reading and meditation, or option two, 
find your way to a comfortable seat. So wherever you choose to be. Perhaps you can now see that the past and the future are actually imaginary. They are not real. <coughs> Excuse me. They are real in the sense that you did experience the past and you will experience the future. But they're not real in the sense that they are not happening right now. They are not part of the present moment. And yet we spend so much time each day lost in thoughts of our past and our future. Lost in imaginings of where we think we came from, where we think we're going, and who we think we are. But in truth, these imaginings are just that. They are imaginary. What a joy to wake up to the simple reality of the present moment. Present moment is real. You can experience the present moment simply by opening up your five senses to the world around you. Trying it right now. Noticing what you hear around you. Maybe within your immediate space. Then taking that notice of any noises outside of your immediate space. What can you feel on your skin? Maybe you feel the warmth of your practice. Or maybe wherever you're practicing is a cool environment and you feel that cooling on the skin. Or maybe there's a little tiny bead of sweat. You're feeling that on the skin. What can you taste right here, right now? Maybe you just brushed your teeth before class. Or maybe you had your first sip of coffee and you can still taste that. So whatever you're noticing around you, poking in this moment of being present in what is real and true and this reality of right now. So as we move through the next several weeks or months of uncertainty, coming back to, do I have what I need right now? Can I find joy in this present moment? And can I keep my focus on the reality of right here? Not spending too much time trying to imagine the future that is not yet real. If you're not already at a comfortable seat, join us here. And we'll inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, let it go. Sigh it out. Connect the knuckles and the thumbs to the sternum, symbolizing the connection of our body to our breath, our prana, our life force. Taking a moment to find gratitude for the here and now for what we have and what is real in the present moment. Gratitude for the strength of our body, our power center of breath, and what's deep down in the core. And gratitude for this virtual way of practicing with each other, which I am truly grateful for. Reminding yourself that you are enough just as you are right now. You have always been enough. You will always be enough. No changes needed. No apologies necessary. Taking this sense of gratitude and this feeling of being enough with you through the rest of your day and your week. It's truly my honor to guide you through your practice. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.